So I will tell you about the people you could have seen there. Uh, there's definitely the first director of, of the university, the Archbishop of Krakow at that time, and a couple of more important ones. Uh, we just entered the oldest university building uh, in our city, one of the oldest ones in the whole of Europe. It's called Collegium Maius, and it's a part of Jagiellonian University, one of the most popular and influential universities in the whole Poland, which still exists. The university itself was established in 1364 by our king Kazimierz the Great, and it was known as Academy of Krakow. From the very beginning of the lectures, took place at the Wawel Castle Kiel. In 1399, our queen Jadwiga was dying, and she ordered her husband to gather all of her jewelry and buy a separate place for the university. It was her last will. The uh, king kept his promise. He was called Władysław Jagiełło. He gathered all of, all, all of the jewelry, both those Gothic houses, four of them, rebuilt them slightly. This way he started a very powerful Jagiellonian dynasty because he gave a new life in the Academy of Krakow. From that time, it was called Jagiellonian University. He established the dynasty, uh, one of the most powerful uh, in the whole, uh, in our country, like throughout the, the, all, of the, uh, all of the centuries. And other Jagiellonian kings also invested money in the university, so it developed pretty fast. The courtyard is still Gothic here. We don't have any lectures here right now. This building is only a museum today. Originally, on the first floor, for example, uh, they had quarters for professors and students here. But today, you can see offices there uh, because of the fair fate of the running and actually using And the most important place for students back in the days was this door with golden ornaments. There was a library. Students were allowed to study there and they free time using all of the precious books located inside. And over the door, small balcony. Seven statues of most important people. You could have seen uh, the Queen Jadwiga who donated the money, King Władysław Jagiełło who established the Jagiellonian dynasty by uh, establishing uh, the Jagiellonian University. Uh, and there's one more guy, uh, but the history behind him is quite complicated. I would have to describe a lot of things to you. In general, in 1794, there was an uprising in Krakow, which started from the main market square. It was exactly one year before we totally lost our independence. Uh, and uh, the main uh, general was called Tadeusz Kościuszko. Maybe you haven't heard his real surname. Shichi, uh, Shichi, typical Polish letters. Maybe you heard about Koskowski or Kaziasko or Koskowski. Uh, he was very popular throughout the whole world. There's a lot of places connected to him. I will tell you about uh, more about it later on as well. So he started the uprising from here. Before he started, he had two friends uh, who earlier decided that he should, uh, sh he should rule the actual uprising. One of them was called Hugo Kowonta. His surname is just impossible to, to like translate or whatever. Kowonta, he's one of the guys over there as well. And even if we don't have any professors here living at the moment or students uh, or lectures, you can still see dragons on the rain pipes. They are my rain pipes here are modeled to look like dragon heads. But this one is like looks like an actual dragon. And I want you to remember that you can see dragons even here, uh, but I'm pretty sure that, if you, that you've seen dragons on churches, houses, like everywhere in the city. It's like the strongest symbol of that. Uh, later on at the castle, I will tell you the story about the dragon as well. Just want you to remember the, uh, the look of the place. Have you heard about any famous students from Jagiellonian University? The first one was Nicolaus Copernicus. He studied here in 14th century for four years. Second one was John Paul II. His real name and surname was Karol Wojtyła. He started his studies in 1938. It was Polish literature. Uh, and uh, in the following year, our city was uh, covered by Nazis. And at the 6th of November, uh, they, like, when they arrived, they shut down all of the universities. None of them was opened. At the 6th of November, they announced that they will give a special lecture here in this very building for professors. Professors thought that they could ask about reopening the university. They were interested, uh, and a group of them, a big group of them, came for the lecture. So-called lecture, because when they gathered here, after 10 minutes, Nazis closed all the doors, 
arrested everybody and sent them to concentration camps. This way they've dealt with all of our intellectual lights here in Krakow. Later communists were doing pretty much the same thing. Stalin wanted to have, uh, there was a communist party in, uh, during that time, uh, and uh, Stalin wanted to have all of the influential people in it. All of the influential professors, uh, politicians, who had trust of the society. Because this way, it was easier for him to manipulate the society. Uh, and if somebody refused to join the party, he was expelled. Not only from the city, very often from the whole country. It was still better than being killed, but it still hurts that they had to, uh, they had to leave their homelands. Like, they could stay here, trying to hide from communists the rest of their, uh, of their lives, but uh, it was easier to go somewhere else and hopefully start a better life in other countries. So there's a bit of bad history in the background, but altogether it's a really nice piece of architecture. Definitely one of the most important historical monuments in our city uh, and in the whole Europe if it comes to universities as well. Today, Jagiellonian University is a state university. State education is the only good thing left here by communists. Uh, students don't have to pay for education. Uh, there's a lot of faculties, even in foreign languages. English is the most popular one though. And there's a lot of exchange programs with other universities uh, from, uh, from European Union. And behind this building, like this is only the museum, but behind it there are two actual university buildings, big ones, we'll pass by them, Collegium Physicum for Physics and Novum for, uh, Collegium Novum for Polish Literature. <laughs> Throughout the whole city you'll see a lot of small buildings, medium ones, like being, which are a part of Jagiellonian University. Lectures uh, for different subjects just take place in different parts of the city. Uh, we'll leave the building, follow the street, we just follow to get here towards places uh, connected more to John Paul II.